Hi guys, welcome to today's video on our graph series. I am Chinyelu Ibute, a software engineer at Microsoft Dublin, Ireland. This video excites me because it is the first video in which we solve an actual graph algorithm problem. Today, we are going to solve a question from LeetCode titled, Find if paths exist in graph. This is a very good question to begin with because it is ranked easy by lead code, but it covers the fundamental concepts we have been learning in the previous videos. I will start by reading out the question and explaining exactly what the question requires from us. Then I will go ahead to explain my proposed solution using a studio code in such a way that you can implement this solution using any language of your choice and get the same result. I will then go ahead to implement the solution using JavaScript and explain the time and space complexity of the solution. All right, let's start solving the question. Let's go ahead and read the question. There is a bidirectional graph with n vertices where each vertex is labeled from 0 to n minus 1 inclusive. The edges in the graph are represented as a 2D integer array edges, where each edge denotes a bidirectional edge between vertex U and vertex V. Every vertex pair is connected by at most one edge, and no vertex has an edge to itself. You want to determine if there is a valid path that exists from vertex source to vertex destination. Given edges and the integers n, source, and destination, return true if there is a valid path from source to destination or false otherwise. So this question is pretty straightforward. We are given a source and a destination to find out if there is a valid path between them on the graph. And we are required to return true if a valid path exists and false if there is no valid path. So the idea is to traverse the graph, starting from the source. If we come across a node that is exactly the same with the given destination node, we will return true because we just found a valid path from source to destination. But if we finish traversing the graph without meeting any node that is the same as the given destination node, we return false. To solve this problem, I will first create an adjacency list from the given nodes and the 2D array edges. If you do not know what an adjacency list is, I made a separate video where I explained adjacency list and adjacency metrics in detail. Please do well to check it out. The link is in the description section. So we will create our adjacency list in two loops. In the first loop, we will set all the nodes as key in the adjacency list object and assign them initial values. This initial value will be an object with two keys, E, which is an empty array that will later hold all the adjacent nodes, and V, initialized to false, which will help us keep track of nodes we have visited. In the second loop, we will look through the given 2D edge array to fill up our E array in the adjacency list with adjacent nodes. Now that our adjacency list has been created, the next thing is for us to use this adjacency list to traverse the graph, starting from the source node using the breadth-first search. You can also decide to use the depth first search method. It's your choice. I have a video where I explained breadth first search, depth first search, and recursion in detail. So if you are new to graph traversal, please check out the video. 
The link is in the description box. Since we are using breakfast search, we have to first initialize our queue with the given source node as its only element and set this source node as visited in the adjacency list. Next, we will look through the queue, taking out the first element from the queue each time and comparing it with the destination node. If they are the same, we just found a valid path and therefore we return true. If not, we have to look through all its adjacent nodes. And if an adjacent node has not been visited, we push it into the queue and update the visitor status of the node in the adjacency list to be true. If you go through this hustle of traversing the entire graph without meeting a node that is the same with the destination node, then a valid path between source and destination certainly does not exist and we should return false. Let's go ahead and implement this in JavaScript. If you have followed this far, feel free to use any programming language of your choice. Okay, let's go ahead and comment out our studio code and write the JavaScript implementation of our solution. We first define our adjacency list. We write the first loop using for loop to set and initialize nodes. For the second loop, we use a for loop to push in adjacent nodes into the E array. Next, we initialize the queue and set source node in adjacency list to be true. Use while loop to access nodes from the queue. Check if node is the same as destination and return true if they are the same. Assign the adjacent nodes to a variable adjacent nodes. Use a for loop to look through the adjacent nodes. Check if the node has been visited. If it has been visited, continue to the next adjacent node. Else, push the adjacent node into the queue and set it as visited in the adjacency list. Finally, return false. Let's run our code. Good job. Time to talk about the time and space complexity of our solution. For the time complexity of this solution, initializing the adjacency list using the first for loop takes O of n time where n is the number of nodes in the graph. Constructing the adjacency list in the second loop takes O of m time, where m is the number of edges in the graph. This is because we need to iterate over each edge in the edges array and add the edge to the adjacency list. The while loop runs until the queue is empty, which takes O of n time, where n is the number of nodes in the graph. Within the while loop, we need to perform constant time operation for each adjacent node of the current node. In the worst case, where every node is connected to every other node, each node will be visited once and each of its adjacent nodes will be added to the queue once, giving a total of O of M operations. Hence, the time complexity of this solution is O of N plus M plus N plus M, which simplifies to O of N plus M, where N is the number of nodes, 
and m is the number of edges in the graph. This means that the time required to traverse the entire graph is equal to the sum of the number of nodes and edges in the graph. This is so because we visited every node and edge in the graph exactly once. So the time complexity is linear. It is worth noting that this is usually the time complexity of all breadth-first search algorithm. But in worst case scenario, where the graph is a complete graph, that is, every node is directly connected to every other node, the time complexity would be O of n square. However, in practice, most graphs are sparse, meaning they have fewer edges than the maximum possible number of edges. For the space complexity of this solution, the adjacency list takes O of n plus n space because we need to store the edges for each node. The Q takes O of n space since it can have a maximum size of n, where n is the number of nodes in the graph. And finally, each node in the adjacency list has a visited flag that takes constant space. Therefore, the space complexity of this solution is O of n plus m plus n. So we can simplify it to a linear space complexity of O of n plus m. Thanks for watching till the end. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. If you want me to solve any specific graph problem, leave a comment down below and I will add it to my list of videos to create. Thanks again for sticking to the end. See you in my next video. Bye.